Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 10 part video series showing you how to create ESK Modern Cabin. Let's get started. To start, let's open a new architecture template. And then once it opened, what we need to do first is to add grid line, which is GR or under architecture, which is this icon. Click that and then click the bottom first and then going at the top. So we have grid line number one, press escape multiple times and then click back to grid line. After that, you can click on copy or CO. And then after you click that or type, you can click multiple and then grab the grid line again and move it on the right side. Then what I want you to do is type in 3930. And then after that, 3520. So we have three grid lines. Press escape multiple times. And then type in GR again. That's for the grid line again. But we're going to add it horizontally. So click on the right side first then on the left side make sure it's 90 degrees and then press escape and then escape again you will then click the grid bubble which is the number four here and then once you have this what you need to type in is capital a so to change the um, grid bubble name then you can then type in CO, which is the copy command, and then multiple is already checked, so we're good with that. Grab the grid line again, and then put it down. And the first one is 6820. The second will be, make sure it's 90, 90 degrees. It's 40, 60. And then last will be 41, 50. Press escape and then escape again. Then what I want to do is just put it in the middle. So here um, I'm zoom out so that we could put it basically in the middle right here. So I'm just going to grab it select everything and then grab it by the grid line and then just put it or estimate it around in the middle so that's good and then after that i'll zoom in and then let's add in some dimension so you can type in di and then let's just add dimension so most of the time you need to add it from the grid line and then after that an overall right here as well let's add some grid line or some dimension on the grid line and then an overall so here are the dimensions that we created once you're happy press escape and then escape again then let's go to our south elevation so I'm double click here south elevation and as you can see, we have level 1 to level 2. We need to change that to 3000. And then click level 2 again. And then you can copy or type in CO. Pull it up like so. And then type in 300 again. Oh, sorry, 3000 again. Now we have level one two and three and then here this grid line we can just pull up 
so that everything is shown. After that, we can go back to level 1. We can then start adding the walls. So right under architecture, here is the wall. You can type in WA or just click on this icon. And here, we're, we're going to use the generic basic wall, 200 millimeters. We're going to edit this type, duplicate, and then here, we're going to type in exterior wall number one. Press OK. Click on edit. And then we're going to maintain the 200 uh, millimeters. And then for the materials, let's change this to a different material. I'm probably going to use wood. So we could go here and then choose for the category of wood. And then let's add in birch for now. So here I'm just going to change this to a wood. And then now we could click rectangle or the line and then we should add it. Make sure that you're connected up to level 2. So your base should be level 1 and then top constraint up to level 2. Wall center line is good and then chain. After that, we're going to click on A1. So click on A1 up to A3. Then down. Click on B3, but we're going to go over this 3000. So you could, once you click on B3, you're basically hanging like that. But don't worry, we're just going to click on 3000 again, right here. And then go back here on the grid line number 2. And we're going to go back a little bit, around 1450. So you need to pull it up like that and then just type in 1450. Once you do, as you can see, it went back. And then now we need to go to grid line number one and then close it up and go back to A1. Press escape and then escape again. So here is our um, exterior wall done for level one. Then we're gonna continue working on this by adding in the, in the interior wall. So let's go and click on wall again. As you can see, we have exterior wall. We could edit that type again duplicate and then this will be interior wall number one press ok add the type let's maintain the thickness but change the material i'm changing the material so that it's easy for us to change materials later on so we're just gonna use wood as well but let's use douglas fir so let's use that Click apply and then OK and then OK again. So here we're going to add in the washroom right here. So we're going to click here and then up to number two grid line. So I'm happy with that. And then let's click on the wall again so you could use this wall again and then cs and then we're going to add this maybe around 1800 would be good so once you do that we could add in so let's insert so we need to insert some plumbing, architecture, fixtures, 
and then we need water closet and then toilet so we're gonna add the toilet the 2d only after that cm and then let's add it right here press escape and then escape again let's load the sink so we need to go back to plumbing architecture fixture and then now sink and then let's just add in some vanity around a rounded vanity will be nice press open and then cm again and then just turn it around by using um, space bar let's add it here and then now let's add in a door I'm going to go back to insert. Let's add in a different door. So here, let's go back to the main and then look for door and then here residential. Let's use some wood. So here we have different kinds of wood. We could have used this plane. I'm going to use something, this one, the five panel. Click open and then let's select all of them by um, selecting the first one and then holding on shift and selecting the last one. It will highlight everything and then now we can click OK. Press OK, press yes and then now we could go to architecture and then click on door or DR. Let's add in a door. As you can see, this is 300. That's okay. We could change it by escaping and then clicking it again. Drop down. And then here we could change the, the door width. Let's use this 700 by 2000. And then here we could add the door like that. After that, I'm going to add in a closet right here. For the closet, we could um, add in another wall. So click on wall, edit type, duplicate. This will be interior wall number two. Press open and then edit. Let's change it to a different um, wooden uh, material. So click here, we're just gonna use maybe the maple. Let's use maple. Apply, okay, and then okay. Here, I'm just gonna, I'm, just, I'm going to edit this as well. Um, let's change the thickness to 100. Press okay, and then okay. And then now let's add it here. And then add it like that. Don't um, join them yet. Here, we could just move it like that. And then type in AL, that's align. And then we should align this first before we continue to join them. And then let's go back to insert and then load in some other door, which is the sliding door right here we have the sliding door and then we could just press open select everything by clicking on the first one and then holding on shift and clicking on the last one press ok and then everything is loaded go back to architecture and then the door is dr for short and we could add in different um, sizes we could just click on that and then click on the drop down and then here we could change the different sizes so around 1700 by 2000 might be a good idea to add here and then we could go to annotate detail line 
change this to demolish and then just add in two lines to represent the closet rod. So let's stop here for now and continue in the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.